Weihnachten. It's my favorite evening. I'm pacing around the floor. Got southern woods and waters gonna take me out the door. Got coffee on a perkin. I'm about to have some fun. They'll have my mind chasing some critter on the run. Bring it on, southern woods and waters. Make me hear that sound of a fish that's breaking water or the bawling of some hounds. Make me smell that river mud, feel clean air on my face. Bring it on, southern woods and waters. Show me that special place. All right, well, we want to welcome everybody to this week's edition of Southern Woods and Waters. Great to have you all here with us tonight. I hope you all enjoy the show. We've got a really good one coming at you. I'm joined tonight in studio by J.D. Hands, and he's with Apex Competitions. And you guys are going to learn a lot more about Apex, as, uh, not only through tonight, but as we go through this year. As we're working with these guys, we're going to be talking uh, with J.D. tonight to learn a little bit more about it. This is a competition. Uh, you guys hear us talk about bass competitions all the time, uh, but you hadn't heard much about anything like this. This is going to be a, a deer hunting uh, base competition. So this is going to be really neat as we get into that with JD tonight and talk. And over here on the end, got my buddy Anthony Landers back in town with me tonight. Anthony, it's good to have you, buddy. I didn't think I was going to make uh, it. <laughs> you just about to get here, didn't you? I know it. That's for sure. If any of you guys are coming from uh, the West Tennessee side tonight, it's a uh, yeah, pretty it's good about jam a, up, had not it? About an hour and a half delay. It took close to two hours. Well, sure was. So, but well, I'm glad to be at here. At least you got to make it down here anyway, didn't Yes, you? sure was. It's uh, been a beautiful day outside. Hope you guys have been out enjoying it like we have. Uh, had some, some good crappy fishing going on this past week. Things were going great, and the uh, weather kind of messed us up for a few days, and uh, I think it's fishing get back good again. i tell you what I did get today, guys. Got my first shed of the year today <laughs> out, out walking around and... Uh, Jack clipped it with a disc this morning, but flipped it up there and found it. So found my first one last week. Had four on that great one. Great time of year to be getting out and looking for sheds right now. You yes. said that Wade had been out doing quite a bit of it, too. Yeah, and yeah. Wade and I were just up at the farm found a couple of years. We still got a lot of bucks toting. I mean, which that's normal down home, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah a lot we, of them we are still holding on. Yes. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to be doing tonight. We have been holding on to one last deer hunt that we're going to run for this year, and this is a... This is a great hunt. You're, now, you're out, Anthony, with Danny Underwood. Yep. And y'all are in West Tennessee. He's from Morristown in East Tennessee. And, uh, yeah, he's from Morristown, which yep. I've got some friends from Morristown. Beautiful area up here. I've turkey hunted Morristown several times. Um, but you guys are, are deer hunting at this point in time. This is probably in late December, I would, I would imagine. Uh, it was, you know, I can't remember. It, it was in December. But uh, when he came down and he was, uh, you know, one of the auction winners for the Brad Deming Bicycle Fund. Yeah. And uh, he and I had been talking and I don't know. I, th I think Danny learned a lot hunting in West Tennessee compared to uh, <laughs> up in East Tennessee. Whole different yes, for him, yes. He, he, he said it was. He said, I'm, I'm shocked, yeah. you know. Well, I'll tell you what, let's go on over and check out this first segment of video and see how the hunt got started out. Hello folks, Anthony Landreth here, Southern Woods and Waters, down here in Southern Hardman County with Danny Underwood. Danny was the auction winner of the Brad Deming Memorial Bicycle Fund down here on this farm, donated by Philip White. This is the first deer of the afternoon. We hope his granddaddy comes out here soon. We'll see y'all.
out your window, the other window. He was looking hard that way, yeah, where you just pointed. Then he's walking back off down in the bottom.
see it. Shaking that lamp, his head all up in it. studio that's a good start man you guys seeing deer all over the place we was man. that first afternoon uh it was a, a nice buck walked out it was, but it wasn't enough light to film but danny tried to get on it and he just told me said, man i don't feel comfortable shooting it but and now i think he was a little sick after that but i mean he still took a nice deer the next day but that's he right. was shocked all the deer we saw yeah yeah, we got, got a lot of more good footage from that hunt coming up in the next segment. Let's get on over and do this week's wild game forecast. It's being sponsored by our friends over at Wilson Bank and Trust. <laughs> you guys can stop in to see them at one of 28 Middle Tennessee locations. They've been helping our community out for 30 years. Be sure and stop in and tell them thank you for everything they do for us right here at the show. All right, well, like we talked about earlier, you know, guys, that last week the, the crappie were getting up in the creeks pretty good yep. okay I, I found them in the creeks and and started getting on them dayton found some in the creeks and uh we caught them real good for a few days and that heavy rain coming there man and just blew those creeks out and it messed them up for a few yeah, days it, it'll do it. um but they're starting to get back up in them again mm -hmm. now so uh, you know as far as the forecast goes if you guys can find a, a good creek mouth of a creek something like that uh if they're still in the same depth i'll know tomorrow but if they're still in where they were last friday uh they're in about four or five foot of water is where i've been finding yep. them at uh catching them on just a little one thirty seconds ounce or one sixteenth ounce jig you know um but it, you know forecast is looking looking mighty good it sure for is you crappie fishermen out there uh bass fishermen too I mean, you know, there was a lot of good fish caught at the frostbite this past week. Uh, you know, we had a great time with that, just like we always do. I want to thank P.B. White again uh, and the National Bassmasters for that. They put on a great tournament out there. And uh, there were some good fish uh, put in the boat. There really was. What was the biggest one caught? Uh, 609, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, just over six pounds. Yeah. And then there were several in the fives, too. Uh, so it had a good turnout. I know, uh, I believe it was Mickey Beck that won the overall weight in the side pot, and it was almost 15 pounds of three bass. Wow, I mean, that's you know, so I mean, they, they, they was, there was some good fish caught that day. So fishing forecast looking fantastic. It is. Uh, and for all you guys that are out, you know, doing a little scouting or something, finding shed, uh, <laughs> everything's looking real good for that, too. It's a good time to hey, get out and find your turkeys are starting to gobble, too. They are. They're starting to gobble and turn it on. These <laughs> sunny afternoons get yes, them going. Yes, I so. guarantee you today, you know, it, it was like 72, 73 yeah. at home. Yeah. That'll sure get them fired up. It will. It will. We want to remind you guys, follow us on Facebook, keep up with us there. We'll uh, show you tidbits and things that we're doing uh, as we go through the weekends and as we're out on the water and doing the things that we're doing. We want you to also send your pictures to us, share your stories with us there as well. Also find us at SWWTV.com. You can find all of our past episodes and links to all of our great sponsors there. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have this week's Pictures of the Week 
and some more Southern Woods and Waters. Live the G3 life. Visit Nashville Marine, your local G3 and Yamaha outboard dealer. Live the G3 life. Visit Nashville Marine, your local G3 and Yamaha outboard dealer. CVA's Acura Series. Vergara barrels for guaranteed accuracy. Nitride for guaranteed rust proofing. And a rifle guaranteed to be the best muzzle loader you've ever shot. CVA, it's just a better gun. This segment's being brought to you by Third Regiment Game Calls. Friends, family, and faith in the outdoors. One call at a time. All right, everybody, time for this week's Pictures of the Week. They're being brought to you by our friends over at Flowers Garden Center and Deer Processing. They're getting everything ready down there right now. It won't be long. You'll be able to go down there and let them take care of all your gardening needs, get those pretty flowers put in the beds. You'll be ready to go turkey hunting in, won't you, Anthony, once you got everything took care of at the house. <laughs> They'll be good to go. Tell them thank you for everything they do for us here at the show. <clears throat> all right, your first picture here. This is Autumn Whitaker, and this is a nice seven-point buck that she got this past season. Uh, in November, I believe it was. So we appreciate her dad, Michael, sending that in to us. Very nice buck, and uh, congratulations on that one. Next one here, this is a, this is a hog right That's here. That's a hog, this wow. Is, this is what I was telling you about earlier. This is Stuart Sullivan, and this is a nine-and-a-half-pound bass that he caught recently in Chickamauga. So congratulations on that fish. That is a... I mean, just an awesome trophy of a of It's a time right of the year there. when the chick starts producing some big ones. It I'm does. Tell you. Now, look here, Anthony. we got us a slab here. This yep. is Mark Jenkins with a nice crappie from Center Hill Lake. And you can tell that that was about a week and a half to two weeks ago by looking yes, at the back. Sure can. So, That's right. Congratulations on that one, Mark. And here on the end, we love this here. This is Carly Trammell. She's from Liberty, Tennessee, and this is her first ever buck here. So cool. uh, great job on that one, Carly. Congratulations. Keep those pictures coming to us. Y'all can send your pictures to us here, 474 James Robertson Parkway, or get them to me on Facebook or at the email there on the screen, and we'll share them here on the show just as soon as we can. All right, welcome back to the studio. Uh, again, I'm, I'm joined live tonight with Mr. J.D. Hands and my buddy Anthony Landreth over here. We're going to be talking with J.D. here in just a little while, a little bit more about the uh, about Apex competitions and the Million Dollar Buck Bash, and really looking forward to talking some more about that. Uh, but, Anthony, we're going to go over to, to one more segment of hunt here. Now, it's fixing to get real now. We're going to yeah, start it, seeing it, some antlers, and uh, he's taking a doe and uh, got a little meat for the freezer, yep. and now you're waiting on a good buck. And uh, it's going to get, it's kind of funny because, and I won't give it all away, but but you guys, when the buck that you're going to shoot finally comes out, uh, he doesn't realize, Danny doesn't realize what buck it is. Y'all are looking at two different yeah, bucks. That's right. what's going to be going on. Uh, and, 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 and he's sitting there you, saying, you finally get on the, the same one, one. he is broke up, and I'm going... <laughs> One I'm looking at yeah. is not broke up. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's just it's funny listening back and forth. You guys talk about yeah. it, but let's go on over and check out the rest of the hunt.
Danny Underwood right here from around Morristown, isn't it? Yes, sir. And we're down here in southern Hardeman County, and we've just seen this is the fourth. Well, we saw five bucks this morning, and Danny just shot this nice eight point. He was either a coyote or a bobcat up there running them out of the woods right here, and he put it on it. Congratulations, brother. Thank you. This is I hope you had a good day. I know uh, I, 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 we, we've seen a lot of deer today. Y'all can see a deer house right over Danny's left shoulder. That's where we were sitting, and we've been facing the other way. And we heard a deer blowing up here a while ago. And I could tell, I, as a matter of fact, I told him, I said, you know, I bet you it's a bobcat or something up there messing with them deer. And sure enough, he didn't know if it was a bobcat or a coyote, but it come down there when they, the deer run this way. Well, all right, we got this one, and so this is another successful hunt for the Brad Deming Memorial Bicycle Fund, and we sure do appreciate it. Good job, bro. Thank you. All right, we'll see y'all. All right, welcome back to the studio. Good thing y'all got that figured out before he made it to the <laughs> yeah, woods, I know. I'd hate it for him to shoot, <laughs> to have shot one and it not been the one I was on. You know, that's happened before. Oh, yeah, it's happened to me before. Yeah. It happened to me and Emory this past it year. on turkeys, too. It, uh, it happens, but it turned out to be a great hunt, It man. was. That, it that was. was awesome. I can tell you, I, I really enjoyed it. And Danny had a good time. I mean, man, he called me and would text me just thanking me, but it, it was it was. <laughs> you just don't get no better than that, man. Yeah. I'm going to tell you. That's a lot of fun. It, it, getting other people out and hunting with them, getting to meet them, and just and hunt together. It, it man, everybody's is. a little different. And, and plus, the Nothing thing like about it. it is, since he come from the other end of the state, you know, Tennessee has got a lot of different regions, oh, yeah. you know, the way it mm -hmm. is. And it, he was just blown away. He said, man, I, I just, he said, I've learned a lot. You know, it's just different from hunting at home. That's great, man. Great hunt. We appreciate you guys sharing it with us. Well, let's go on over and do this week's product of the week. This week's product of the week is being sponsored by our friends at Caney Fork Outdoors. Y'all can find them at cfoutdoors.com or get off I-40 at the Center Hill Dam exit. Go to the bottom of the hill there. Make a right. You'll find them at the Big Rock Market. Go in there and let Mr. Joel and the Martin family take care of all your kayak needs. All right. What you got over there for us, Anthony? I'll tell you what, Brandon. This is the new Bill Dance crappie pole. It's uh, made by Quantum. 
it is it's 10 foot two five foot sections and i'm gonna tell you it is so sensitive of course it's a, it, the foam handle is hard I, i'd rather have a hard foam handle because it, it helps on the sensitivity but you can literally jerk you know i, I pull pound and a half crappie straight up into the boat you know five six pound bass but if you if anybody's familiar with bowfin or we call them grinnell down home you know mm -hmm. yeah. in the sloughs the dogfish i think that's the name yeah. of them they're mm -hmm. bowfin but uh I, i've landed up to eight pounds on these and i mean these things you know they're kind of like cobia yeah. in the, in the how long does this rod you this one right here is 10 foot um you can get them at bass pro shop cabela's um they said See, this one sells for $79. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, it comes with a lifetime guarantee where if, if you break it and carry it back and get another one. Yeah. Well, you can't beat that. No, That's you can't beat that. And, and, I, and I'm going to tell you, that I've had this. Well, i tell you what. You remember when I first got this and we did the Lebanon show? Yeah, that's right. And, and I've probably caught about 1100 on, yeah. on this one since yeah. then. It's done you pretty good. Yeah, you got that right. Of course, <laughs> that little secret bait. bait right there is what's ready done a lot of it. Yeah, we we'll might talk about that bait. Yeah, yeah I'll tell you what. That. That's right. Well, guys, we're going to take another quick break. When we come back, we're going to open the phone lines for you. You can call in with your own questions or comments. We'll have some more Southern Woods and Waters. It's here. And it is big. A whitetail challenge for all hunters to test their hunter skills. Set your sights to reward your passion. Your next harvest could pay you big bucks. Enter today or reserve now at apexcompetitions.com. This segment is being sponsored by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Join us in preserving and protecting Tennessee's wildlife. When we're out hunting or fishing, just being in the outdoors, some of our greatest times are centered around being with friends. Some of my greatest memories aren't about that big buck that I killed or how many fish that I caught. It's about being with my friends. And in scripture, in Mark chapter 2, Jesus tells a story about a group of friends. One of them was paralyzed. So the four other friends decided that they wanted to take him to Jesus. So they put him on a stretcher, each one grabbed a corner, and they began their journey to Jesus. But when they got to him, it was so crowded that they couldn't get their friend in there to him. So they went to the roof. They broke open the roof and lowered him down to Jesus without dropping him. And then the next thing that Jesus did was encouraging, but also convicting. He looked at the paralyzed man and said, because of their faith, your sins are forgiven. And later he healed him of his paralysis. Jesus said, because of their faith, the faith of the friends. How faithful of a friend are you? So my challenge for us all this week is this, be a good friend. You know, the greatest thing about being a good friend is that you always gain a good friend. Hey, thanks for watching. Our prayers are with you. Hope that you are blessed today. And always remember, keep shooting straight. All right, guys, this next segment is being sponsored by Taylor's Archery. You guys can find them at 100 East Lauderdale Street in Tullahoma, Tennessee. Or give owner Tracy Taylor a call at 931-563-7706. They have got the brand new 2021 lineup of Botex, Hoyts, Matthews. They can take care of all your archery needs. Stay around and shoot a few rounds in their beautiful indoor range while you're at it. Tell them thank you for everything they do for us here at the show. All right, welcome back to the studio. You guys can go ahead and call in if you'd like to, 615-737-7767. Uh, but until then, J.D., we're going to start picking your brain a little bit uh, right. about this competition. I mean, the, the first time I ever heard about it, it was, it was very intriguing to me. You know, Anthony and I are both are big-time deer guys. Everybody knows that. Um, and, you know, again, I've always been around the bass tournament world and, and uh, crappie tournaments Anthony's been involved in, but this is brand new, man. I mean, tell us just a little bit about the competition itself and kind of how it was started and what's going on with it. Yeah, um, well, it's a, a state-specific competition. Um, so you're competing just um, against people in your own, your own region of the United States. And you're basically going out there harvesting an animal just like you would, except 
in order to maintain integrity of the competition, protect the resource, and make sure people aren't incentivized to harvest animals unethically. We right. require everybody to video their, their harvest. And when you sign up, when you pay your entry fee, we send you out a buck bash box right here. It's got everything you need to compete. It's got a 4K digital camera in it, SD card, battery charger, uh, antler measuring tape, the whole works. Everything you need. Yep. I mean, it's right there in, in one box, and and that'll get you started. And you mentioned that it was it was regional, you know, region specific. So there is a Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So know, it's really so state so, specific, right? You know, state specific. State yeah. specific. Yeah. So, okay. So in the state of Tennessee, you guys will be competing against others in the state of Tennessee. I mean, it's not like you're going to be competing against the guys over in Illinois or whatever, for example. Uh, but you also. Uh, this is not a biggest deer wins kind of deal either necessarily. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are multiple categories is my point. Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, we, we our top prize is for the, the largest scoring deer. How many places does that pay? Like uh, top 10 or we, we have a we have a top 10 and then we pay out um, in our in our full model we pay out over 150 places so we we pay out would pay out down to 140th place and then we have special harvest categories we call them where if you happen to land on 1,000th place on the leaderboard you'd win ten thousand dollars if okay <laughs> any that cool is that? Yeah, that's yeah. what a lot of fishing tournaments <laughs> yeah. you know they, yeah, they've yeah. gone to that it's kind of like an incentive yeah. thing to just uh, to I sign guess, up and be there be yeah, yeah, and then to check in, you know, like, you know. Absolutely. And then, for example, anyone who harvests a 10-point animal, no matter if it's 92 inches or 160, gets entered into a random drawing for a new truck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy bail. Yeah. So, I mean, th this is this is a big deal. It's, it is a super awesome competition. Again, I was intrigued from day one. I'm so excited to be working with y'all on this. I mean, again, as soon as I told Anthony about it, he was like, what? What did you, you, know, yeah. you say? And uh, I was kind of explaining it to him. But uh, it's going to be a great, great deal. We're, we're really excited about doing this and, and moving forward working with you guys. When do you start um, taking entry fees? Or uh, when does it open up, I guess you'd so, say? So the way it works is right now you can reserve a spot in up to 20 states. And then we will open up uh, when a state has enough uh, participation interest or reservations, if you will. Um, in around August 1st to September 1st is our uh, sign-up period where we'll open up sales. And people who reserve now will save $25. They'll get a promo code sent to them. And uh, they'll get their spot reserved. Right. For How do you reserve now? You go to the, the website apexcompetitions.com. Apexcompetition.com. Okay. Competitions with, yeah. a, with an S.com. Okay. And yeah. you, you'll choose your state, and then it works from there based off the state yeah. that you want to participate in. We got a couple of calls here, guys. Let's switch over and take. We got somebody on one. Oh, oh. take that back. Here we go. Duck, my dear, how you doing tonight? Hey, hey what's going on, there, Brandon? Hey, he oh, told me Duck man. was on the phone. I knew it had to be you, man. I could, I could tell the way you was acting. I said, I bet you that's Matt Aru. You right. know, look, I, I might actually call with a question because I, I have, I have a high concern about this fishing segment, y'all talking about the uh, the fishing and all that. What yeah. does it mean when you're fishing with your good buddy and he hands you a bait and, like, the tail is broke on it or <laughs> maybe the jig ain't the same size as he's using and he ain't catching the fish he is. What, what does that mean? Can y'all help me out with that? That, I mean, that usually means I, you're fishing with Anthony Landry. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm trying to say? If, I mean, sometimes he gives it to me, ain't no tail on it, be different cover. Uh, uh, and then he'd be like, let me tie it on there for you. Yeah, fish, make, sure you gotta, make sure you got a quarter-ounce jig on yours and he's got a 16th <laughs> yeah. or something. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah, I give him an 8th <laughs> and I have a 16th. <laughs> they won't know the he difference. He got me out there getting hung up on everything, man. Look, I feel like I'm tight-lining sometimes when I'm fishing with him. <laughs> Uh, hey, man, you ready to do some turkey hunting? I hear you guys fixing to get going. You heading back to Tennessee man, soon, ain't you? I am leaving Texas tomorrow morning, heading to Louisiana. I'm going to spend a night with my mom and hopefully be back in Tennessee by no later than Sunday. Saturday evening at the earliest. And look, I am ready, bro. Look, them turkeys don't know what they got coming this year. <laughs> Yeah, I'll if tell I you what. Quit, if I got a job when it starts, I'll allow to quit. Yo, 
to the end of turkey season. I'm not lying. Thank, I think you quit your job in deer season, too. Didn't <laughs> he you? did. Well, I didn't want to say it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go ahead and quit. Y'all yeah. know I don't care. <laughs> oh, me. Well, Duck, we appreciate you calling, man. and look forward to having you back on the show again here soon. Can't wait, Brandon. Hope to see y'all soon, man. And you tell Anthony out there, be careful going home tonight. All right, Duck. All Thanks, right. brother. Have see you. Have a good one. We'll see y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs> Raymond, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Doing good. We appreciate you calling. How can we help you tonight? Uh, when you turn, I'm turning 65 later on this year. Can I get my senior license now? Um, I don't know if you can do it before you're actually 65 I, I or not, but I don't believe so. I think you'd yeah. have to wait until you were 65. Yeah. No, okay. and I, I understand why you're asking that because it's yes. time to get your license now, but I, I do believe you would have to actually be 65 before you can get it. Okay. Um, and can, another question. Uh, my mailbox is kind of messed up. I wonder if you could fix it like I've seen you on TV <laughs> fixing them up. Well, I tell you, that's, that's a special service reserved for my parents' house only. There. I, I, hey, I don't that. just go out fixing for everybody, you know, but we, we can put that. one back but, up when we have to. Uh, you have a good one, and I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night. You do. All right, guys, a couple good calls there. I always look forward to hearing from Doug. Oh, man, let's, I am so looking forward to it, him being home. Well, let's go on over to this week's tip of the week, guys. This week's tip of the week is being sponsored by Phoenix Custom Quality Rods. Y'all can check them out at phoenixrods.com. We're here in the state of Tennessee. Call Mr. Jim Brewer at 931-213-1455 and let him get a Phoenix rod in your hands today. All right, what you got for us over, Anthony? Well, everybody knows turkey season is, is well, it's coming up about 27, well, 23 days, yeah, I guess. You got a youth hunter for the juveniles, that's yeah. right. So one tip I was going to say, right now is a good time, you know, to ride around. If you, I mean, if you know where you're going to hunt, you know, maybe start getting up, especially some of these warm mornings. Try to pinpoint where they are. But, you know, a lot of people move in on them, and they kind of mess them up, you know. Kind of like, I guess, scout them from afar. And then, you know, once you do that and then closer it gets to season, you'll be able to go in there, maybe sneak in there, set you up a blind, and you'll be able to bust one. Your chances are yeah. pretty good. That's right. Just don't push them too much right now. That's right. And, hey, they tell you where they are. It's different than deer, you yeah. know. They, yes. And you a, know a lot of people, too, out. Brandon, and, in, in, of course, in a lot of states it's illegal, but they go out and they call this time of year to try to get them. I mean, and I understand why they do it, but in the long run they're probably hurting themselves doing that. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Well, good tip, Anthony. Appreciate that. Guys, we're going to get ready to take another quick break. We'll be back here in just a minute with some more Southern Woods and Water. Live the G3 life. Visit Nashville Marine, your local G3 and Yamaha outboard dealer. It's here, and it is big. A whitetail challenge for all hunters to test their hunter skills. Set your sights to reward your passion. Your next harvest could pay you big bucks. Enter today or reserve now at apexcompetitions.com. CVA's Acura Series. Vergara barrels for guaranteed accuracy. Nitride for guaranteed rust proofing. And a rifle guaranteed to be the best muzzle loader you've ever shot. CVA, it's just a better gun. This segment's being sponsored by Tri-Green Equipment. Stop in and see them at 21 locations in Alabama, Mississippi, and Tennessee. They can take care of all your Honda, Steel, and John Deere needs. All right, everybody, this next segment's being sponsored by Courtney's Restaurant and Catering. You guys can find them at 4066B North Mount Juliet Road in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Or give owner Tom Courtney a call at 615-754-7548 and let them take care of all your delivery or catering needs. Welcome back to the studio. 
I've uh, got J.D. Hands here with us, and we've been talking about the uh, Apex competition, the, the Million Dollar Buck Bash. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the camera. Number one, when you get entered into this, you know, you're going to get this package, you get this camera, and uh, you're going to film your harvest. And, and I want to talk to you a little bit more about that now, J.D. So to have a, a legitimate entry, mm -hmm. uh, what would be required of me? I've got my box now. I'm ready to go hunting. Yep. Uh, so what's the next step to make sure I'm ready to go? So we have you document yourself, the hunter. Uh, your location, you have to pan your location. Uh, we would confirm that if you were eligible for a large prize. Uh, you have to have a reasonable documentation of your harvest, meaning we have to be able to verify the animal you say you yeah. entered was on, on footage there. Your recovery, uh, we have you take a photo at your recovery site, which helps us validate some more yeah. things. And then you have to video um, your final application of your tape. We, we supply measuring tape to make uh -huh. measuring easy. Yeah. And we, we have you video that so we can tell from afar before we look deeper into your harvest that it was measured properly and there's no red flags there. Okay. And all that, all that gets submitted on our website, very easy process. We have a, a digital score form and all your videos get uploaded. We walk you through the whole process online. Now is this a self-film only thing or say Anthony and I went hunting together, could mm -hmm. he use the camera and film me shooting yep. a deer and me in it? Absolutely. As long as you entered and you're harvesting the an yeah. animal, you can film it however you want. Okay. So as long as the one that harvests it's the one that enters it, you're, you're good to go yep. on that. So, I mean, even if, if, if I'm entered in it and I self-film, I'm still good to go, right? Still good to go. <laughs> or if I'm with Brandon and I film him and he's entered, he's good to go. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Well, that I mean, <clears throat> that works out great. Now, let's talk a little bit about the entry fee. Everybody's going to want to know that. You yeah. know, what about the entry fee? Yeah. Um, so, let's talk about that just a minute. Yeah, the... the First time entry fee with your Buck Bash box is $275. Um, and then at that point, uh, in following seasons or additional entries, uh, the entry only, we send you out some uh, measuring tape with it, and that's 250 But we do offer large discounts for, let's say, in Tennessee with your second deer harvest. We will give discounts, or if you enter early uh, yeah. before the season, stuff yeah. like that. So you can enter this thing more than once yourself. You know, you can shoot two bucks here in Tennessee. Uh, so like he just said, you can have a second entry, uh, but there is a cap on overall entries. Yeah, yeah, we, we cap it off at 10000 uh, okay. So we're trying to create kind of a elite, inclusive type feel um, to where everybody, you know, and also as you ca as you compete, contestants get priority entry the following season. Like, yeah. they'll get to sign up before everybody else. That's right. So I, I got a question. So say if, if you... Well, not because that wouldn't work. You said a while ago. So it, you can either enter, you can enter twice. But, and then, like, if you entered, so, like, I bought one entry and I went out and killed a deer. Well, I couldn't, and I went out the next day and killed one, and it's bigger. I still couldn't enter it because you got to enter before you kill that deer. Correct. correct. Yeah, if, if you had purchased the entry before your second harvest, that would be okay. It just has to be purchased before yeah. the actual yeah. harvest. So when you and, turn and in the first one, you better go on and get your yeah, second that's entry. Right. Yeah, that's and, right. And, so, and it's a lot more stuff to go in. I mean, like, you know, you got to have your date program in on your, on your camera because, you know, I, I know how a lot of people do on these things. First thing they start looking at is a way to get around. Absolutely. You know, and same way with the, with the tape. And so you were talking about that a while ago. So... What if they, they're scoring it, but for some reason, everybody that's looking or y'all look and tell, well, they made a, because a lot of people want to score that tip to tip, because it is a place for it on yep. the Boone and Crockett sheet, but it don't count in the total score, you know, and yeah. like, if they add that, it's like, no, nah, you don't add that. Yeah, yeah, we we have a lot of education and walk you through the scoring process. Okay, yes. you, you can also have your taxidermist score it for you if, if, yeah. if, if you're not familiar. However, our score form on our website only has the the measurements that we require yeah. and it also walks you through gives you a diagram videos all that kind of stuff well right is y'all's measurements are. comparable to Boone and Crockett Pope and Young well, that's that's the standards that we follow that's, yep. okay, that's yep. good okay. that's good yeah well, that's fantastic and also people are already familiar with that that's yeah. right so you know they don't have to learn something new as, as far as getting another is know, it gross or net it's gross yeah, we, we, we don't like um, hey man hallelujah I agree. Like, like, like <laughs> don't don't 
you hey, know, disqualify what the good Lord hey, put on them. That's right. Absolutely. I'm a firm believer that nets are for fish. That's right. <laughs> that's, 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 that's exactly that. right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, no, I mean, no disrespect to the Boone and Crockett Club or anything, but I've always believed that. Yes. If that deer has 147 inches, then he's got 147 yep. inches. You know, I don't care if he nets 132. That's fine. But... The good Lord gave him 147 good. inches. You know. And then, of course, it got to be one inch, at least one to, to yep. score. Yep. All that, all Man, that, awesome. all that still applies. That um, is great. And it, uh, another really cool thing about our website that people don't know is you have to uh, upload all your content, and that is saved in your score history page where you can go back and relive that for forever, um, as well as other people can view it. They'll just click your name on the leaderboard. They'll be able to relive your harvest, all your videos you submitted, all that kind of stuff. So Okay, I got a question. It was Say if, uh, you know, some people, regardless, they're not going to be able to work the tape. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. that's just how okay. it is. Some of them can't score. What if if we went and got, say, like, if I didn't know how to score one, but my next door neighbor is a certified mm -hmm. scorer for, like, TWRA or something. Could they score it and then absolutely. I send that sheet in to y'all? Absolutely. Okay, cool. the, the, the score form's on our website. You get access to it with an entry. Um, it walks you through everything. But we would rather um, have somebody else score it for you if you weren't confident. Right. So we want yes. it to be accurate. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Guys, okay, this next segment's over. <laughs> I, 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 I don't want the <laughs> rod. Uh, we got a little something special for you tonight. If y'all remember, Tristan McCormick was here last week, and he brought this Smoke Creek rod with him, and we promised everybody we were going to give this away tonight. So this is a seven foot three medium heavy rod from Smoke Creek right here. If you will be the fifth caller, 615-737-7767. This smoke creek ride could be yours. <laughs> yeah, don't be over at Dallas. Call in, duck. <laughs> Guys, we'll be right here in just a second with some more Southern Woods and Waters. That is good. Live the G3 life. Visit Nashville Marine, your local G3 and Yamaha outboard dealer. Live the G3 life. Visit Nashville Marine, your local G3 and Yamaha outboard dealer. It's here, and it is big. A whitetail challenge for all hunters to test their hunter skills. Set your sights to reward your passion. Your next harvest could pay you big bucks. Enter today or reserve now at apexcompetitions.com. This segment's been sponsored by Drake's Creek Outdoors, a unique, affordable way to display your trophies. All right, guys, this week's calendar of events is being sponsored by Birdine Supply. You guys can find them down there in Mount Juliet, Tennessee at 6966 Lebanon Road. That's about a quarter mile west of Highway 109. Or you can give owner Vincent Lenning a call at 615-453-9222 and let him and his crew take care of all your residential and uh, commercial plumbing and electrical needs. All right, welcome back to the studio. Got just a few announcements tonight. Uh, first off, Rick Ayers from Springfield is the winner of our Smoke Creek Rock. Congratulations on that one, Rick. Uh, I think you're really going to enjoy that. I appreciate you tuning in and calling in tonight. Um, April the 3rd, Veterans Crappie Tournament on Kentucky Lake. I want to let you guys know about that. You can contact Shane Barker for that. That's 731-514-3325 to get in touch with Shane uh, and talk to them about that. It's also opening day of um, turkey season. That's, a, that's a opening day of turkey season. In it's most counties. In our world, yeah, in uh, most counties. Yeah, right. I think it's in 86, uh, 86 counties. Yeah, and 
uh, anchored by Grace Fishing League. You guys can contact Michael Whitaker. It's going to be a brand new fishing league this year, Anthony. Uh, they're going to have their first tournament March the 6th, so that's coming up uh, here shortly. It's going to be at Long Hunter. You guys can call them at 615-384-3393. So that's this weekend. JD, thanks again so much for being here with us tonight. You guys, again, you can get information for them at apexcompetitions.com. You can also find information for them on our website now. I'm proud to announce that they're going to be coming on board with us, and you guys are going to become a new title sponsor for us here at the show. Uh, couldn't be more proud and honored to have you coming on. That's awesome. I want to thank Wade Hendricks as well. Wade is kind of the brain behind all this. You guys are going to get to meet him soon, too. Uh, but him and J.D. work together uh, side by side on this every mm -hmm. day, and I, I appreciate you guys very much for, for being here. Looking forward to the relationship. Thank you, Brian. Um, Anthony, thanks for being down Amen. here. Uh, folks, fishing is great right now. Get out there and get with it. We've got TWRA coming next week to talk about some fish management. You don't want to miss that. If you get on the water this week, wear your life jacket each and every time. Get home safe to your family. We'll see you again next week for some more Southern Woods and Waters.